Hello Kisima Champions. Hi Kisima Champions. My name is Chakaleb and your teacher. Cynthia. And welcome to our online service. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Even as we begin our service, uh, I would like for Chisha and Cynthia to pray for us. Will you pray for us? Yes. Even as we begin our service? Yes. Okay, let's bow our heads for a word of prayer and close our eyes. Thank you Lord for, thank you for, thank you Lord for healing the people that are sick, sick and then the people in the hospital, please heal them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Last week we learned about the first church and you are, you are told everything to do with the church and how the first church started. Do you remember the story? What was it about? Which book was it coming from? You can tell us on the comment section below as we continue with today's lesson. So now today's lesson comes from Acts chapter 3 from verse 1 to 26 and I'm sure all of us know the story very well but we're going to read it a little bit so that you guys can remember like you can remind yourselves well you can familiarize yourself with everything that we are, we are learning today so the topic today is Peter and John heal a man who could not walk is it possible to do that it was it was only Jesus who used to do that okay let's read from Acts chapter 3 verse 1 says one day Peter and John were going up to the temple at the time of prayer and at three in the afternoon it was three in the afternoon now a man who was lame from birth was being carried to the temple gate called beautiful where he was put every day to beg for those going into the temple courts so every single day this man used to be taken to the temple courts and used to be there calling asking for money you, you know those people that you meet in the streets and every time they keep on asking for money, kisema saidia, saidia maskini, saidia maskini, rusha shilingi, shilingi kumi, shilingi tano, saidia, saidia. And some of you look at them and then you just change your face and you're like. And some of you will just come and give them something. And yeah, this man was like that. This funny thing is that gate, the church gate was called beautiful. And Peter and John were going to the temple at the time where they were supposed to go and pray. And this time, this guy asks them for some money. And as he's telling them, he's telling them, um, please give me some money so I can get my food. You know the way you ask for money and the, the way he, he wasn't able to work. And the Bible tells us that he was born lame and he couldn't walk so that means he wouldn't be able to work and back then they didn't have these small jobs that people have nowadays and i think he didn't even know like he had a some a talent or something that he would use but this time when he was begging and he was asking for money peter looked at them peter and john looked at him straight in the eye and this is what the bible says peter said look at us then the man gave them attention as if he was waiting for some money. And he was like, yeah, guys, I'm getting some more money. Some, I'm getting something to, to feed myself today. And these people seem like they're going to give me a lot of money because they look rich. I think so. And then as he was giving them the attention, Peter said, silver or gold, I do not have. But what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. And that guy started stretching, you know, like the feet. You know, when you're, what do you call that? Stretching your fingers and and he's trying to stretch himself slowly. You feel those, the, the sounds and his faith, by his faith, he started doing all that. And soon he stood up straight. 
And standing up straight, he's like, now, Nimesi Mama, what's the next thing I'm going to do? I'm going to try and walk. And then he try, tries to walk slowly, slowly. And everyone around here was astonished. And they're looking at him like, what? What is going on? This guy has been here since he was very young. And now he's walking. What, what is happening? And more to walking, he started jumping up and down. And he was so happy. Have you ever seen like something? Have you ever been given something that you are waiting for for a long time? And then you, it made you feel so nice, I'm sure. And, and you see those such, such things like this guy was always waiting. The Bible doesn't tell us his name. It just tells us that it was a man who was lame, born lame. And he jumped at his feet. The Bible says in, in chap chapter 3 verse 8, he jumped to his feet and began to walk. Then he went with them into the temple courts, walking and jumping and praising God. You know the songs that we sing when we praise God? Because he has done good things. And every time, we are supposed to give thanks to God for the good things, for the, the things that are happening in our lives. And this guy did just that. He was walking, jumping, and praising God. And when everyone saw him, they were amazed. And they wanted to know more about God. They wanted to know who, what has happened, what has really happened to this person. And you see, the Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, that let your light shine among men so that people will see your good deeds and praise our God in heaven. You see, our light needs to shine. God says we are the light of the world. He tells us in Matthew chapter 5, we are the light of the world, and we need to let that light shine so that God, God will be praised through that. So Peter and John, instead of getting all the praise to themselves, they just said in Jesus' name, walk. And this man, this man started walking. And people started worshipping God and respecting God and loving God even more. Just remember that Jesus, Jesus looked to them. He's, he's like everything we, we believe that cannot happen, it's not even possible. He told, Jesus told Peter that the things that you've seen me do, he told the disciples that, the things that, you, things that you've seen me do, you'll do them and even much more if you believe in me. And our memory verse is very simple. It tells us, Matthew chapter 19, verse 26, says, Jesus looked at them and said, With man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Remember, again and again and again, with man, this is impossible. Everything is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. We just calls us to doing what? To believe in God at all times. Because Jesus said, if we believe in him, the things that he did, we can do even more and much better. But if we don't believe in him, I don't think we'll get anything well possible. But God loves you and me. And that means every time he's always doing everything for us. So that's our story for today. What did you get from our story? And which part do you enjoy most? You can continue to tell us on the comment section below. Let's go and do crafts. children my name is teacher regina and teacher cynthia ah and cynthia here so today we are going to do a craft about john and peter who healed a man who could not walk and so we have so many sicknesses in this world cynthia huh? what types of sicknesses do you know headaches headache stomach aches stomach ache. and coughing and coughing so we have written a number of sicknesses here and we want to show you that our God can heal every sickness. So Cynthia, we have written here HIV, malaria, and you can write headache, you can write stomachache, and we can add, you can add which sickness? TB. TB. Now Cynthia write TB on that paper. Make sure you have a marker pen and you have a plain white manila paper. T B. Yes. Then T B. Good. So these are the sicknesses that exist in this world. And we are going to make a prayer box. So using a pair of scissors, you are going to cut the, the blue manila paper like that. Then cut the white manila paper like that. Then you are going to make a prayer box. Then pin it like this. 
Yes, you want to try? Okay. Then pin it here. And here. Good. Cynthia has made it. So, we are going to use a pair of scissors. We are going to cut it like this. Then cut it like this. What do you have? A prayer box. And because you've written so many sicknesses on this paper, we want to put it on this prayer box and we can pray about them and we believe our God is going to heal us. So, Cynthia, cut the papers. With these ones, cut using a pair of scissors. Good job. Make sure you do it so slowly so that you, it doesn't cut you. Good. Put it here. Good. Amazing. Here. Slowly. Good job, Cynthia. Just put it here. Make sure you're very careful. Mm -hmm. Cut the other one. Make sure you're very careful whenever using a scissor. Good job. Put it here. Then cut that one. Good job, Cynthia. Hope you're doing the same thing at home and we will tell you why are we cutting them. Mm-hmm. Good job. And then the last one. Just cut it. Uh huh. Amazing. Good job, Cynthia. So we have cut all the sicknesses here. And Cynthia, we said we shall color our prayer box with glitters. So we take our glitters. Then. Just take a small portion, then you can pour it. Good job, Cynthia. You want it to look so glittering. Wonderful, wonderful. Enough, amazing. Good job, Cynthia. So we are going to take the sicknesses. We are going to fold them like this. Like this. Cynthia, we can fold the sicknesses like this. Like this. Fold them. Fold them. Then we put them. Where do we put them? Inside, Inside the prayer box like this. So after you have put them like this, then you close your eyes. Cynthia, how do we close our eyes? We put our hands together like this. Then we close our eyes. And then we pray that may the Lord heal us all the sicknesses. May the Lord heal each person who is sick. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for joining our online service. I hope you guys have had a fantastic, fantastic lesson and you guys enjoyed, right? Did you enjoy, Cha? Cha? Did you enjoy? Yes. Did you enjoy? Yes. Did you enjoy? Yes. I saw you on art, art, you did art and craft, right? Yes. Uh, but you guys can follow us on Instagram at Kisimo Champions. You can follow us also on uh, YouTube and Facebook. Till next time. Bye. Bye.